Hi guys, I'm Chef Kathy Fang. Today I am hosting a birthday party for one of my really good friends, Fashion by Ali. She's gonna be inviting a bunch of her fashion forward foodie bloggers to the party and I'm gonna be creating a little spread for them. She requested guacamole because it's one of her favorite things to eat and I'm thinking here, okay, I need to step it up a notch. I can't just serve them regular guacamole. I need to put a fun little twist to it. So I decided I'm gonna stiff mine up with some pomegranate seeds. I think it's beautiful and on top of that, it's healthy. So let's get started. First, we're gonna to have to get all the lovely avocados into a bowl, and I'm gonna show you how to actually remove the pit from the avocado. You're gonna take your knife, and you're going to put a little slight tap on the pit, and then twist, and then it'll come out just like that. And we're going to scoop all this delicious avocado into the bowl. Important when you are finding avocados to get the very soft kind when you're making guacamole. Guacamole requires very, very nice creamy avocados and not the firm ones. So as you can see, it's really important to have the soft avocados so when you grab it, it needs to be slightly firm but have give when you touch it. That way it makes your job a lot easier and it makes better guacamole. There we go. This is looking good. You don't have to fully smash it. Just have little chunks in it because you're actually going to start adding other ingredients into it. Tomatoes. That side. And then let's cut it into little pieces. These days people do a lot of alternatives to guacamole. They'll put different types of ingredients in there to kind of spice it up and make it different. Um, less traditional and today I'm actually going to show you how to make one with pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate seeds is a superfood. Uh, it's very high in antioxidant and it's very pretty. So we're going to add that as a garnish to the guacamole when we're done. Cilantro. Cilantro adds a really lovely pop to the guacamole. All right, that's going in there. And then there's gonna be a jalapeno. Jalapeno makes it nice and spicy. If you like more heat, you can keep a little bit of the seeds. If you are not a fan of spice, I would actually go a little easy on this. Maybe take out the inside and maybe use only half of it because the last thing you want is this delicious bowl of guacamole to go to waste because it's too spicy. And here's a tip. When you are actually working with jalapenos, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after you've touched the seeds or try not to touch the seeds with your fingers because if you're not careful and you decide to touch your face or your eyes, you are gonna get a burning sensation. Delicious. Last but not least, onions. So all that's gonna go in here. Now we got our lovely bowl of guacamole. Yay. I'm super excited. We're gonna squeeze lime juice in here. I have a couple extras here. I just want to make sure I can get a lot of juice out of it. Sometimes the limes get kind of dry and if you don't have enough lime juice in it, it's just not as tasty. The key to a good guacamole is honestly just great salt and a lot of lime juice and fresh ingredients. Okay, let's see. It's getting there. A little bit more salt. You can double dip if you're eating this entire guacamole to yourself, but if you're sharing with friends, um, I would advise against that. Okay, I am a stickler for doing things and making things look pretty. We're not gonna overfill the bowls. Presentation is so important. We're gonna sprinkle some of these beautiful pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate seeds are actually becoming really popular now. Well, they call them arrows and not seeds, but you can actually buy them already pre-packed like this. I have these limes here. Let's use it as a garnish. And 
voila! We've got our guacamole. Something different, why don't you try little corn chips? These are really cool to serve your guacamole with. Just be creative, like use cucumber slices or parsnip chips and plantains. Get creative and spiff up your guacamole next time by adding things like this. I say, what's the world?